In 1989, a 300-meter asteroid passed through the point where the Earth had been just six hours previously. If it had impacted upon the Earth, the explosion generated would have been 12 times more powerful than the largest ever nuclear bomb that had been detonated. We're all familiar with the idea that an asteroid impact caused the extinction of dinosaurs here on Earth. It only took a 10 kilometer sized asteroid, which may sound large, but is tiny in terms of the solar system, to cause the extinction of 75% of all species of animals and plants on Earth. Asteroids can be thought of as the leftover debris from the formation of the planets in the solar system. While most of the asteroids formed the planets such as Earth, some remained behind and still orbit the Sun. Undoubtedly in the past, lots of asteroids have impacted upon the Earth, but due to geological activity, it's really hard to see the evidence of their impacts. However, we only need to look up at the Moon to see the kind of scars and damage left behind from an asteroid impact. With the successful touchdown of ESA's Philae lander on a comet in November 2014, what once sounded like an idea for a Hollywood blockbuster is starting to become a reality. If we can land a probe on a comet, then surely we can then land an asteroid. And if we can do that, then the possibilities become limitless. Several nations on Earth are starting to look into the idea of actually mining asteroids and comets for their resources. And this is starting to become a real possibility. The first step in this process has actually been taken by NASA, who are developing the Asteroid Redirect Mission, which aims to send a probe to a nearby orbiting asteroid. Once there, it's going to launch down a robotic arm to pick up a large boulder, which it will then tow into orbit around the Moon. NASA will then send the new Orion spacecraft astronauts to land on the boulder's surface, inspecting it. This hopefully will then lead to further missions out into space and one day astronauts landing on Mars. Now, it's not just national space agencies that are interested in this. Recently, Luxembourg announced its support for private companies to start exploiting asteroids for natural resources and this could lead to a modern day gold rush. 